Five things I wish I knew before I started doing comedy. Hey, what's going on, you guys? My name is Chaim Samuels, and I'm a stand-up comedian from New York. Uh, I've been doing stand-up for a little over five years now. I perform regularly in some of the biggest comedy clubs in New York, such as Broadway Comedy Club, The Comic Strip, Danger Fields. And although I am just the average struggling comedian, I want to make that clear. I'm not Bill Burr. I'm not Dave Chappelle. I'm not selling out arenas. But at the same time, I have been privileged to work with some really big names, such as Mark Norman, Janine Garofalo, and Michael Rappaport. And I wanted to make this video and share with you guys five things that I wish I knew before I started doing comedy. And this potentially could help anybody that is considering doing comedy and is considering getting into it. But before we get to that, guys, make sure to hit that subscribe button and leave a comment down below. It helps with the algorithm. Honestly, we're coming out with videos every single week, and any subscription really just makes my day. All right, without further ado, guys, Let's get into it. The number one thing that I wish I knew before I started doing comedy, and this is gonna sound really harsh, but it's, a, and it's an important thing to know. You're gonna suck. And I know that sounds really harsh and counterintuitive. Like, why should I go in thinking that I'm gonna suck? That, that doesn't make any sense. If I think I'm gonna suck going into it, I'm definitely gonna suck. I should go in feeling good about myself. I should go in feeling confident. And yeah, that sounds good in theory, but that's actually not the case. It's like going into medical school thinking that you're a really good doctor and you know everything. Very quickly you're gonna learn that is not the case and there's a good chance you're gonna get overwhelmed and discouraged. And it's important to know that when you start doing stand-up comedy, you're not gonna be very good, which is fine. It's fine, by the way, because nobody starts off very good. It's a really difficult thing to do, even if you're really funny, trust me. When I was growing up, I was always the class clown. My friends considered me hilarious. They would always put me in plays to play the funny guy. I was always considered the class clown. And so I had all this confidence before I even stepped up on stage. So I assumed I'd be great at stand-up comedy. And I remember doing my first open mic and I got up on stage and about two minutes in with no laughter from the crowd, I realized very quickly that was not the case. And it was like a punch in the face. Thankfully, it did not deter me from continuing to do comedy, but if I had known from the beginning that it's going to be a difficult process, perhaps uh, I would have been a little more ready for it. And I think with anybody starting off doing stand-up comedy, they should realize it's going to be really difficult and it's going to take some time to get used to. Which is fine, by the way, because nobody is good when they start off. You can ask even any of your favorite comedians, I guarantee, when they started off, they were not very good. They could tell you, they could tell you about the times they bombed, they could tell you about the, the shows that just went terribly knowing that you're not going to be very good going into this will actually help you to be a little more humble and understanding and have a little more patience for yourself because i guarantee if you continue performing and getting up on stage you're gonna get better number two get up on stage i know a lot of people have this idea that if they stay in the room and they write and they just practice in front of the mirror they practice their jokes in front of friends they're just gonna get better but unfortunately that's not the case if you really want to get better at stand-up comedy, you really have to hit the stage. And I know that sounds harsh, but that's just the reality. You're not a musician. Like, a musician can go into his room and practice for hours and really get better at playing an instrument. When you're doing stand-up comedy, you're entirely relying on the audience's reaction in real time. And you can't get that unless you go up on stage. I know it's enticing, especially when you're first starting off, to think that if you just stay in your room and you write a ton of jokes, you're automatically gonna get better. And unfortunately, that's just not the case. You really have to get up on stage. Number three, writing and coming prepared. I cannot tell you how many people I've talked to that said that if they were ever gonna do stand-up, they would just go up on stage and wing it. Don't do this, okay? Uh, I've seen a lot of comedians think that if they just get up on stage and they just kind of ramble, they're going to be funny. And I, I don't understand this. This is absolutely not the case. Stand-up comedy already is difficult in itself when you're coming with prepared material. It's going to be especially difficult if you get up on stage and you don't have material, you don't have anything written. Even to improv and come up with something on the spot is difficult enough for an experienced comedian. It's going to be impossible for somebody who's never done comedy before to get up on stage without anything written and somehow be funny. So it's it's pretty important that you make sure that you have things written, you, you write a lot, and you come consistently prepared. It's important for you to get up on stage and have prepared jokes so that you can get used to saying 
up on stage. Don't try to ad lib, don't try to crowd work when you first start off. It's not gonna go well. A lot of people have this idea when they get up on stage that if a joke doesn't work, they could just work with the crowd. And if you're not experienced, it's not gonna go well at all, I promise. Just stick to the script, stick to what's written. Write a lot so you can get better at writing and you can get better at saying what you've written up on stage. So again, make sure to come prepared and write a lot. Number four, um, and this one is a little less about the actual stand-up itself and more just about generally when you get into stand-up what's important and that is networking. Now, for a lot of people, this is probably one of the most difficult things. I know for me, at times, it's I'm just really not interested. I know I like to just go, perform, and then just leave. And it can be difficult for people to, to feel like they have to network and get to know people, but it's, it's a really important thing for a few reasons. Uh, number one, definitely when you're starting off, comedy is a really difficult thing, and it's good to have people around you who understand what you're going through. Uh, befriending comedians that are experienced or are kind of going through what you're going through can definitely help the process and make it easier. Uh, number two is also making friends and getting to know people absolutely helps with opportunities down the line. I know the first show that I ever did was out of becoming friends with a guy that I met uh, at this comedy club. Becoming friends with him really helped to open up some opportunities. And a lot of times people that run their own shows, they're gonna book their friends as opposed to people that they think necessarily are incredibly funny. You can go to open mics and you can be really funny, but if you don't know anybody there, it's not really gonna help with a lot of potential opportunities. I know a lot of people have this idea in their head that if you, you have a great mic or if you have a great show, there's gonna be some corporate suit in the back and they're gonna come up to you and say, we really loved you, come, let's sign you. That's not really gonna be the case. The best way to start performing and doing shows, especially when you're starting off, is to get to know people. And also at the same time, it will definitely make the experience more enjoyable to have people that can understand what you're going through. And number five, the last thing that I wish I knew before starting comedy was don't worry about shows, especially when you're first starting off. A lot of people have this idea when they first start off that they have to book as many shows as possible. And this could be a really big mistake for a few reasons. When you're first starting off, if you don't have any experience and you get booked for a show, for example, and you get up on stage and you stink, there's a chance that that booker might not want to bring you back. And so before you start thinking about shows and performing in several different comedy clubs, you first want to get up on stage and at least get used to being in front of a crowd. You also want to make sure that you have material that works. You want to make sure that you have a few minutes worth of jokes before you get up on stage and start performing because you can think you're really funny but then you get booked for a show and you have no material or you have material that you really haven't worked out yet and you get up on stage there's a good chance you're gonna bomb and it's not gonna go very well so i would say when you're first starting off don't put all this pressure on yourself the first thing you should worry about when you start doing comedy is just getting used to being up on stage and writing out some material once you've written out already a few minutes then you can decide, okay, I have a few minutes that I've worked out already, it's taken me some time and I know that I can get some okay laughs and I'm comfortable enough on stage, then, okay, now I can decide to go do a show. But before that, guys, don't even worry about it. Just worry about getting up on stage, getting some time, getting used to it, because at the beginning, that's the most important thing. And that kind of leads into a bonus tip that I'll give you guys, and that is have fun. Uh, that's pretty much the same idea. Just Try to enjoy yourself because it's it might get pretty difficult as, as i said at the beginning it's gonna be tough try to enjoy yourself uh, in, enjoy enjoy the process or try to enjoy it as much as possible realize that you're working toward better yourself at comedy and you're getting to do what you want to do it's important that the reason you're doing this is because you love comedy that can be hard to remember especially as i said before at the beginning where it might be pretty difficult and there's going to be days where you're just going to be so burnt out and you're going to think why am i doing this trust me i've had those days but if you stick with it and you just you try to have as much fun or enjoy the process as possible it's going to be easier for you to get through it at the end so thank you guys so much hope you enjoy we're coming out with videos uh every single week and if you like this video let me know down below in the comment section thank you so much and enjoy the rest of your day you guys because you deserve it.